Welcome back to Maker's Muse, guys. In this video, we'll be doing the second part of David's request in helping him fix his gun for a friend's figurine. And in the first video, I showed how to fix the file using Mesh Mixer. And in this one, I'll show you how to fix it using Tinkercad. So, let's get into it. Welcome back, guys. All right, so first you need to fire up Tinkercad. For those who don't know, Tinkercad is a free online, so web-based cloud service CAD program that's completely free to use and will run on pretty much any machine running a fairly recent uh, browser. So log into your Tinkercad account or make one if you don't have one already. And what we're going to do first is just bring the gun file in and I'll show you two ways you can fix it. First one is just using Tinkercad and the second one is a hybrid of using Mesh Mixer and Tinkercad. So let's go into it. So first you need to go to import and then choose your file. There we go. SCAR2 and scale. The, the scale that David gave it to me is quite small because it's meant to be for a figurine so I might scale it up just for demonstration purposes. You can always scale down later. So here we go. For a quick tip, if you hold down shift while scaling, it will scale uniformly. All right, so this is the gun file. And the problem he's having is the barrel isn't connected to the rest of the, the body of the gun. And indeed, if you zoom in, there's that gap. So in Mesh Mixer, we stretch out these end caps to join the two parts together. Uh, unfortunately, in TikiCAD, you cannot edit meshes in that way. If we just tried to stretch it, even if it was separated, it would deform the rest of it. So the simplest way, in my opinion, is to kind of just patch it with something. So this is the first way to do it. It's definitely the most kludgy, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Grab a cylinder, spin that cylinder around, hold shift to lock it in place, or just use the, the guides. Make it smaller and then move it up to pretty much where we want. And from here, it becomes a bit of a, a bit of a guessing game, essentially. So just drag him in, scale him down more until it's roughly the same size. You can use the arrow keys as well to nudge, similar to Illustrator. If you're finding the snap grid is too coarse, like in this case, you can go to snap grid and lower it down. So I'm gonna do 0.1, so it's very fine. And we're almost there. We can just snap him back down like this. Oops. Looks pretty good. Maybe move it up a fraction. So it's a little bit larger than the original, but that's not a big deal. And to do the second one, I think I'll just do control paste. And similarly, just scale it up a little bit. Move it up like so. Looks pretty good to me. So basically all this is doing is it's going to add these extra cylinders as geometry and glue them into place on this model. So we'll just select everything with the, the selection box and group. And there we go. So if we just export this, so we go to design, download for 3D printing, STL, and I'm going to fire up Mesh Mixer to prove to you that it's now one shell. So here we go. Uh, there looks to be a small error there, but we'll get to that in a second. So edit and separate shells. No multiple shells. So it's now one shell, but there appears to be a, uh, a small error here. You can see that red. So to diagnose uh, holes or errors in your mesh, you go to analysis inspector. And yet there seems to be a small error. You can repair it automatically. And it looks pretty good to me. So there we go. That's one way you can fix your file multiple shells by gluing them together in TikiCAD by just making a patch. And the second way I'll show you is to pretty much split the file in Mesh Mixer like we did in the first video, but then use TinkerCAD to stitch it together instead of using NetFab Cloud for those who people who are worried about uploading to NetFab Cloud. Okay, so here we have the gun file with the stretched barrel that I did in the uh, the first video. So essentially, instead of instead of joining these together and exporting, we're going to export them separately. So I'm going to select this one, which is the barrel, export barrel, 
And this one, file, export, gun, whatever. And now we're going to go and import them both. So the one thing that I really don't like about Tinkercad is it doesn't let you import things with a locked position, like, you know, it moves them off their origin, basically. So here, the, the gun barrel is now in the wrong place, which kind of defeats the whole purpose of stretching it. We could just move it, but this is another method that you could use to stitch things together. So say you had two completely different files and you wanted to stitch them together quickly, you can use Tinkercad for this. So, what we do is just rotate it around, like that, and then basically find out, oh, that's, that's completely the wrong way around, whoops, so it's like that, and then move it into position, depending if the object's symmetrical, we might be able to use the align tools, so we might be able to use adjust align to center it, like that. And then we can just go back to our reference. So, turning a tiny bit off. And then just jog him back like that. And then group it together like that. Which will make a single shell and make it completely printable. So thanks for watching guys. Hope I shed light on various methods you can repair STL files using both Tinkercad and Mesh Mixer or both <laughs> in conjunction with each other. And once you get the basics of the systems and how each tool complements the other, you can start doing some really, really cool things for 3D printing. If you want to see future 3D printing videos on Makers Muse, I do reviews, tips and tricks, and stuff like this. Definitely consider subscribing, it helps me out a lot. And I'm almost at the 20,000 subscriber mark, which is insane. And when I get there, there's gonna be a really, really big surprise. So I look forward to seeing you there. Anyway, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you again shortly, shortly here on Makers Muse. Bye.